Hey guys, this is Karan Birani from Mobi Scrub and I'm going to quickly jump into the 10 best tips and tricks for the Samsung Galaxy S6. We are all used to unlocking Samsung phones with a swipe across the lock screen. But with fingerprint sensor on the S6, unlocking is really quick, secure and without a swipe. However, it's even easier when you can unlock using your thumb in different angles and not get stuck. To do this, when you're adding a fingerprint, ensure that you have given thumb impressions in various angles. Now when you do that, the S6 stores your fingerprints in multiple angles and then identifies them in all those angles as you unlock. So when I'm adding my fingerprint detail, I provide fingerprint in diagonal, horizontal and vertical positions. And I can do that with the thumb, uh, the left thumb as well. Battery has been a major concern for all of us using smartphones these days. The S6 comes with ultra power saving mode which really dumbs down the phone's functionality to the basics. Now everything goes into black and white, your internet would work only when the screen is unlocked and in case you want to use more apps, just tap on the plus sign and choose the one you want. Now luckily WhatsApp is a part of this group. Now I have 87% of battery power and this can go on for 4.3 days. Now if you don't want to lose any features, you could go additionally into settings, go into accessibility and then go into vision and enable your black and white mode or the grayscale mode. Your smartphone would get rid of all the colors and simply have everything in black and white. Trust me, it actually makes a difference in saving battery. One amazing thing about the S6 is that it comes with the option to change TouchWiz themes. You don't have to stick to a single look anymore. Go into themes and then there are some preloaded themes or otherwise just go into the store and look for some uh, new themes. There are plenty of them and you can choose from. Unlike other launchers that change a lot of things about your phone, this one actually keeps the TouchWiz features in place. It just changes the icons, uh, the dialers, the notification panel, the color scheme and some native apps like SMS, email and so on. And the really awesome part is that there are some Avenger based themes that are exclusive to the Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge users. And these themes are pretty cool because, uh, you know, they change no the notification tones. It even changes the keypad tones uh, to the Avenger theme. So here you go guys, when the theme is applied, as you can see a lot of things have changed, the icons at the top you've got these notification toggles, um, setting toggles, the dialer looks pretty hot, um, the lock screen has this nice zoom out effect and then the keyboard also has uh, a different theme altogether, as you can see it's red and black in color. Now, the next tip would be, uh, would really just help you type things that you use repeatedly in a much faster way. So head over to the settings and then select Samsung keyboard and then just add a shortcut by assigning a particular key, a phrase of your choice. So let's say every time I tap one, I should be able to get the phrase, how are you? And so on. So I can assign a couple of numbers or a couple of words a particular phrase and when I long press one it just shows how are you or if I long press some other number let's say two it says hey let me call you right back so all of this is already pre-assigned and it really just helps me a couple of things that I use very often very quickly very easily if you look into the setting toggle menu you won't see multi window here but you can still do multi window sessions in the S6 just tap the task manager button and you will see a multiple app windows icon next to them this means that they're capable of being in a multi-window session. So just choose the other app that you want to do a multi-window session with and they will align uh, on top. You could also drag and drop stuff like highlighted text and images making it really easy for you to share content. Now next thing is called quick glance. So let's say you're having lunch or keeping your hands busy and you got to check what's been buzzing on your phone. Just wave your hands and the lock screen comes alive and you can enable this in your settings menu by going into uh, dexterity or just search for gesture wake up and you can enable right from there. Now at the bottom you've got three keys, recent apps, home and return. But long pressing them can actually do different things. So if you were to press you know, the recent apps key for long, it would actually initiate a multi-window session where you can select two apps that you want to open simultaneously and work with them. Long pressing the home key would actually launch Google Now, which would keep you updated with cards that are relevant to your everyday life. Such as, you know, where you park your car or news that's important to you. A lot of times you may forget that you have a new unread notification. Now how cool would it be if your phone could remind you of that? Just turn on notification reminder in settings and you could actually enable this for apps that matter more. So you have an option to disable for some apps while have this enabled for the others. The other thing is that you could choose to use vibration and LED notification both or just vibration. The thing with LED would be that it would stop functioning otherwise for normal notifications and that's really weird. So you could also set how often would you like your smartphone to remind you of these unread notifications. So to turn off reminder on, uh, the notification reminder on, just go into settings and then you could go into um, accessibility and then just go into notification reminder and turn it on right there. 
We're all used to the traditional ways of accepting or rejecting calls, which is by swiping the green or the red button, right? Well, it could also be possible that you could um, do that in a much more non-traditional way. So you could actually configure your home key and your power key to accept or reject calls. Even better, you could just say accept or reject and the calls are actually accepted or rejected. So those were the top 10 cool things that you can do with your Galaxy S6 or the S6 Edge. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Do let me know which ones you really liked in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe.